Today, we're talking about the seven best places to live in Philadelphia. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Gregory Martz here, your local real estate expert here in the Philadelphia area. Thanks for visiting our channel, Living in Philadelphia. Our content is all about buying and selling in the Philadelphia area, the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Also got you covered in Jersey too. Heck, we can help you all across the nation. So if you're looking to move here or sell here or buy here or thinking about it, consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, let's get to it. Seven best places to live in Philadelphia. So today's video, we're focusing on the seven best places to live in Philadelphia. We're talking about in the city here and you're in luck. We've done some vlog tours and some in-depth videos on all these places, which we will point out to you. All right, so coming in at number seven or number one, whichever way you wanna go, or number three, hey, if you'd like to go against the green, talking about Rittenhouse Square. Now we did do a video on Rittenhouse Square, so check that out. But it's known as the fashionable district, also known as a, a certain lifestyle, if you will. So Rittenhouse Square running north to south is somewhere around Market Street to South Street. And running east to west, we got Broad Street to the river. That's the Schuylkill River. So Rittenhouse Square is definitely a fan favorite. It's a super touristy attraction, but it's also a really schwanky, if you will. Got some great eateries, some really great hotels. Shopping and stores are really anywhere from uh, high-end stores to really boutique-y type shops. Boutique-y, is, is that a word? You got big eateries, small eateries, you got cafes, you got great restaurants, you got bars, you got wine bars, you got bourbon bars. You even have a tequila bar. Hit me up for the location of that. So Rittenhouse Square is definitely like center city living's finest. It's the part of the city that never sleeps. All right, so next up, we got Chestnut Hill. Now you're in luck. We did a great blog tour of it. You gotta check out Chestnut Hill. We went really in depth into the neighborhoods. We showed you some houses, some great places to eat. So Chestnut Hill is on the outskirts. Now it's like Northwest Philadelphia. It's about 20 minutes outside of Center City. So what I like about Chestnut Hill and what a lot of people like about it, it's super walkable. You even have some cobblestone streets still, but it's also green. There's Fairmount Park and right along the Wissahickon Creek. So it's kind of residential and can get kind of rural, if you will. Uh, literally on the border of Montgomery County. It's a pretty affluent area. It's got a lot of historic mansions, uh, Victorian twins. Uh, it's a beautiful section of the city. Excellent spots downtown for shopping. I say downtown, like downtown Chestnut Hill. Uh, Chestnut Hill Hotel. Still still taking guests and still serving great food. Chestnut Hill's definitely a fan favorite, a Philly favorite. Can you say a Philly favorite five times fast? All right, coming in at number three, we're getting about halfway through our list here. We got Bella Vista. And boy, is it a beautiful view. Now check out our video that we did on Bella Vista and you will not be sorry. Now Bella Vista, it, it connects Center City to South Philadelphia. And, and South Philly is like your, 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 your age old friend, your, your, your old faithful buddy, if you will. And this connection keeps a beautiful area, excellent walkability, great price points in homes. It's, it's, it's an excellent gateway, if you will. So if you don't want to spend or have the hubbub of Center City, but you're not quite ready to be all the way south, Bella Vista is definitely for you. Bella Vista was founded by a bunch of great Italian people, okay? Nine Street Italian Market. I mean, the food is unbelievable. The market is unbelievable. But it also has a great culture diversity there. It's a, it's a melting pot, if you will. Number four, we got Gaberhood. And we've done a couple of videos on Gaberhood. And it is one of the most popular sections of our city. It's so fun to visit. It's great for shopping. Now it does have a very large presence of LGBTQ culture. So between 11th and Broad and Market and Spruce, I think it is, that rectangle there. Now you don't have to be L, B, G, T, or Q to be welcome there and to enjoy yourself there. Excellent eateries, excellent spots to shop, great section of Center City, very busy. It never really sleeps in that area either. A lot of great clubs in that area too. Also has a civic center or a community center, William Way. All right, we're rounding out our list here. Next up, we got number five. 
Number five, it is literally called the place we go to drink. Now, if you know the section of the city we're talking about, hit a comment right now. While you're hitting comments, hit likes and hit subscribe. And while you're hitting things, check out and hit up Maniunk. Now, we definitely did a video on that. We did a vlog tour there. Maniunk is a super hilly but super fun part of our wonderful city. Now, it's also getting towards the suburbs. So it's got a great location, awesome fun life. It's walkable. It's drivable. Now, parking is a little bit of an issue there, but doesn't matter where you park, you'll definitely be having fun in Maniunk. The heart and soul of Maniunk is the famed Main Street. Got dozens of places for eating, for fun, for shopping. If you're looking for some great music, or maybe do some dancing, or looking for a fine dining experience, Maniunk has it all. What's really cool about Maniunk, and most parts of the city too, is the fun isn't just at night. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do during the day. If you checked out our vlog tour there, they got that really cool farmer's market that comes in. There's also a lot of biking because it's uh, uphill in some cases. Uh, a lot of inclines, as they call it. So if you're looking for walkability, fun things to do during the day, also at night, great price point for homes, great bang for your buck there too. Check out Manio. Number six, we're going to be finishing our list here soon of the top seven places to live in Philadelphia. Now, number six is we're going to go old school. We're going to get historic up in here. And we're talking, of course, about Old City. Now, we did a vlog tour of Old City as well. And what a beautiful section of the city. Now, it is a great tourist attraction there. And it is in its historic district of Philadelphia. We've got Vine Street to Walnut, and we've got 7th Street to the Delaware River. Now, it's situated right next to Independence Mall, and talk about cobblestone streets. An 18th century charm. It's one of the oldest parts of the city, and I think it is the oldest part of the city. I think that's why it might be called, hmm, Old City. But that doesn't mean the homes are in shambles. you got some great real estate in Old City. Excellent locations. Lots of fun things to do. You like to be on the waterfront? Old City's definitely for you. You like history? Old City's definitely for you. And the tourists really don't get that annoying. There's a beautiful blend, uh, if you will, of Old City and tourists coming in and the, the national park system is there. It's really a great spot. You got a lot of history, but you also got a lot of modern things, a lot of fun things to do. You got beer gardens, you've got art galleries, great places to eat, great places to drink. A lot, of wind, a lot of great window shopping you can do in Old City, too. You got Liberty Bell. You hear that bell ringing? You got Penn's Landing, Ben Franklin Bridge. If you wanted to get to Jersey, you're not too far. You got to either go over the bridge or under the bridge or cross the river either way. If you love the arts, you love the culture, Old City's for you. They got First Fridays, first Friday of every month. You can hop from gallery to gallery. They got a really great nightlife, a lot of fun things to do during the day. It's, a, it's always a, a, a busy part of the city, but it's not overcrowded and it's not so trafficy where it gets um, a trafficy. Is that a, is that a word? It's kind of like boutique. <laughs> so if you like Center City and you like history, but you want to be just a little bit further away, we've got Market East. And that's our seventh section of Philadelphia of the best places to live in the city. So Market East has a, a pretty heavy commercial aspect to it. It is, um, some might say, the bridge or the gateway into the, the, the business district. Uh, but there's a lot of independent type shops that have popped up and it's definitely has a unique, uh, unique side to it, a unique side to the east side here. Got Arch Street to Chinatown, then Walnut Street to Washington Square West is kind of that general oblong <laughs> rectangle, uh, or maybe that's a little different shape that I just drew there. Is that more of a hexagon? But anyhow, Pentagon, uh, either way, uh, I think you catch my drift. You've got several museums in this area. You've also got the Reading Terminal Market. Now, you do have a lot of condo living here, but there's also some great opportunity for twins or row homes as well. Every section has its own quirks, but it also has its own great things uh, to, to talk about and great things to experience and great places to visit. Well, if you are thinking of moving to the Philadelphia area, 
definitely want to check out our home buying guide and our home selling guide here. Grab yourself a copy. They are free, put together by yours truly, and they are shown down in the notes below. Check out this video here, Living in Philadelphia, What are the Neighborhoods? Once again, thank you so much for checking out our channel, Living in Philadelphia, and watching this video. We'll look to see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.